Hey guys, Wayne here from HT Tech Videos. Today I want to go over some hidden features on the cool pad Defiant. The first one is a really easy one and I know you're going to love it because who doesn't like using their camera? So, if you turn your screen off and you double tap the power button, guess what it does? It automatically will launch your camera. It'll turn the phone on and automatically turn your camera on. So this is a great way for you to capture those um, candid pictures, something cool happens, you can just double tap that button and you're immediately right in the camera. Now it does um, it does work when the phone is off and it works when your phone is on. So even if you're in, um, I don't know, let's say you're in the settings app and something is happening right now, just double tap, it will automatically kick you over to your camera. So pretty cool hidden feature, that's our first one. The second one is gonna be uh, how to hide an app. Okay, so let's say there's an app on your phone that you don't want people to have access to. Well, here's how you hide it. We're gonna go to our app drawer. Upper right corner, click on the three dots. And we're gonna go hide app, which is the third option. And then we're gonna select the app that we wanna hide. So let's say you wanna hide uh, Netflix. And you can actually select more than just one app. You could do a couple of apps. Let's say Netflix, let's say your music, maybe your Play Store. So in case you don't want your kids downloading apps, press the check and guess what? Now those apps are gone. They're not gonna be on the home screen and you're not gonna see the apps here in the app drawer. Uh, when you wanna unhide the app, you're gonna hit the three dots up here. You're gonna hit hide app. And at the top, it's gonna show the three apps that are hidden. So it's kind of cool. So at first, it looked like anyone could just figure out that there were apps hidden and they could unhide it. But no, the menu option stays the same. It always says, sorry. It always says up here, hide app. And it doesn't say unhide app. So no one would get the impression that an app is hidden unless they were to tap this and then swipe up to the top and then they would see these three that are hidden. So this is a pretty cool way. Most of the time, again, if the phone is yours and you let someone use it, this could be a, a, a quick tweak that you wanna make to ensure that they're not going through any of your text messages or your pictures or whatever. You can quickly go in, hide the app, and then give the phone to the person and they shouldn't know that there are things that are hidden. Now, if you're sharing the phone with someone, if you give them enough time, they might figure out that you've activated it. So just keep in mind that. Now, if we wanna unhide it, I'm just gonna tap these three, hit the check, and then now those apps are back in our um, app drawer, all right? So that's our next little hidden feature, just how to hide apps. Now our next one is gonna be uh, quickly switching between two apps. So for example, let's say you're on Google Chrome and you're searching something on the internet and then you're trying to you know, report back to a friend uh, via text message and you're trying to jump back and forth between the two apps. Uh, the quickest way to do it is just tapping this button, which is your recent apps button. If you hit it twice, it'll automatically switch between the last app that you were on. So watch this. You gotta hit it twice. Oh, gotta hit allow first. Okay. So the way you set this up is, so go to the first app, so Google Chrome. Accept it, make sure the app is totally open, obviously. I think that was why it didn't work the first time. Then we're gonna hit the recent apps button one time. I'm gonna to go to messages and we'll hit next. Make sure the app is set up as well. Now I'm just gonna hit the back button or the, excuse me, the recent apps button twice. And then it's quickly, here we go. See that? So messages, Chrome. So whatever the last app you were on, just by hitting the recent apps, it'll automatically take you back to that app. You don't have to hit this once and then go back and select it, just boom, boom. So there's that, pretty cool, I use that one a lot. Our next hidden feature is gonna be the guest mode. This is gonna kinda go in line with what we talked about with the hiding apps feature. So give your phone to someone, you wanna make sure they're not going through your stuff, swipe down, swipe down again, tap on this little circle with a little person in it, and we can go to, we can add a user. 
let's say you want um, a second um, a second user, let's say you want to have a whole separate profile for like one of your kids or even just someone else who uses the phone frequently, you could have a separate section for them or you can just go to add guest. And if we hit add guest, it will switch to the guest mode, which limits what they have access to. All right guys, for our next hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to pin an app to your screen. Go to your settings. Go to the magnifying glass and we're just gonna type in pin, P-I-N, and look for a screen pinning. And we're gonna just tap screen pinning, we're gonna turn it on. Oh. So it does walk you through the instructions here, I'm gonna read it really quickly. When this setting is turned on, you can use screen pinning to keep the current screen in view until you unpin. To use screen pinning, make sure to screen, make sure screen pinning is turned on. Open the screen you want to pin, tap overview, swipe up, and then tap the icon, the pin icon. All right, so we're gonna hit this here. And you can select this option of locking the device. Lock device when unpinning. Uh, actually, we don't want to do that. So, screen is pinned, we're, we've turned on the feature, now we're gonna go into an app that we wanna pin. So for example, let's say you wanna pin someone into the calculator. You would open the app first, and then you would hit the recent apps button down here, and you would swipe up, and this little pin is gonna be here. Tap on the pin, and it's gonna tell you screen is pinned. This keeps it in view until you unpin it. Touch and hold back to unpin. So we're gonna have to hold the back button to get out of this, okay? So press okay. So now, let's say you give someone your phone because they wanna use a calculator and you wanna make sure that's all they're using. So we're gonna pin them into the app and guess what? If I try to go home, I can't. You're locked, okay? Recent apps is not working. Back button doesn't work. If I try to turn the screen off, I can turn it on and turn it back on and it goes right to that same section. They are pinned in this section until you get them out of it. And this is a great way to keep people out of your phone. So hit the back button, but you're gonna put your finger on it and hold it. And that's how you turn off the, the screen pinning and now I can go back home. See that? So you can do this with any app. With parents, I recommend you do this with YouTube. If you want your kids to watch YouTube and you don't want them to roam around and do other things, you could open up YouTube and you could just pin them into that one app. And let's see, right now I'm gonna hit that, pin, and now they are, are stuck in this section and they can't get out of it. So if they try to go home, the buttons down here don't work for them, okay? And then just hold down that back arrow again, and that's gonna unpin the screen for you. So that's screen pinning. Uh, a lot of people don't know that that's there, so we always put that in our hidden feature video. Our final hidden feature is gonna be a tweak you can make to your Wi-Fi in order to stretch your battery life. So we're gonna go to the settings. We're gonna go to Wi-Fi. Upper right corner, click on the three dots here. Go to advanced. We're gonna go to... Let's see. Sorry, wrong section. Don't go to advanced. You're gonna click on this little wheel in the settings. It moved it. Go down to keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. Let me explain this, how this works. So the setting is called keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. So sleep is when your screen is off like this. If your phone is connected to Wi-Fi and you leave the settings the way it is out of the box, your phone is constantly using the Wi-Fi to update apps, to download things, to do things in the background. If you've ever noticed, you put your phone down, and you turn it on, you turn it off, and you haven't used it for three hours, you come back and your battery is drained 20%. Why is that? If your Wi-Fi is on, it's the phone is using it even when you're not using the phone. So. What I recommend that you do is switch this. 
to only when the phone is plugged into a charger. So switch to this setting here. Now, if your screen is off, your phone is not using Wi-Fi to update things. So the benefit there is that it's gonna allow your battery to last a lot longer. And then as soon as you turn the screen on, the Wi-Fi will kick in and it'll do all the uh, updates and things it was gonna do anyway, but you get a longer battery life, okay? You could be even more aggressive with it and you could set it to never and say, hey, I never want Wi-Fi to be on if I'm not using the phone. Um, so that's a little tweak I always recommend. I do it on all my phones and I get a really good battery life, so FYI. That's it guys, this has been the hidden features on the CoolPad Defiant. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you also follow us on Instagram at h2techvideos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff. Thanks again for watching, take care and have a good one.